Hi, I'm Brandon and welcome to Spark Lab at Queensland Museum. In Spark Lab, we give our visitors the opportunity to solve problems and think creatively in our makerspace. Our makerspace activities, which are aimed at children 6 to 13 years old, help them develop skills that are important for their future careers and in tackling global issues of tomorrow. In Spark Lab, we use a design process to help our visitors get started. We have them consider the challenge, think of some solutions, make a prototype, test it out, and then improve on their design. Challenges that are open-ended and linked to real-world examples give our visitors motivation to see value on what they are working on. A key aspect of our Makerspace activities is user-centered design. In our Makerspace activity, Zip to it, visitors are challenged to create a device to safely take an object or a person down a zip line. When approaching the activity, makers consider questions like, who am I designing a solution for? What do they need to transport? Where do they need to send it? And why do they need to get it to the other side? Thinking about these questions can help visitors make choices about the size or shape of their device and decide what types of features to include. The Spark Lab Makerspace is a safe and supportive environment where all ideas are welcome. There is no one right answer. When tackling the challenge, visitors can draw on their prior knowledge their past experiences or their imagination to test out all different ideas. To help makers get started, we provide them with real-world examples in the form of stimulus images, objects and prototypes, as well as using bucket of stuck ideas and thinking dice to support the early stages of design. We provide a variety of materials in the makerspace and encourage participants to think about their properties when making a prototype. Some of the materials can be used as surfaces, structures or connectors. It is important to provide enough materials to allow for a range of different solutions, but not too much so that choices become overwhelming. We also include wildcard materials that visitors may not expect to find in the makerspace, or specialised materials depending on the challenge. When selecting materials, we consider the sustainability of our choices. Can we use recycled or repurposed materials? And can we recover certain types of items and use them again? We encourage makers to test their designs and make observations. What did they notice? And did something unexpected happen? When you're testing your prototype, you need to remember that there's no such thing as failure. Even if it doesn't work, then you learn something and you can keep improving it and try to make your design even better. When improving the design, we need to think what parts of our test went really well and what parts can we modify or improve. In this stage, it is important to remember to check whether the requirements of your user are being met. For example, if you are transporting a person down your zipline, how safe would they feel? What things could you change about your design to make them feel safer and give them a relaxing trip? The design process will guide visitors through the activity, generating a feeling of ownership and success at each stage. As facilitators, we celebrate their successes and consider whether it's appropriate to add to the challenge or extend their thinking. For Zip Tour, this could be as simple as changing the angle of the zip line or suggesting that they attempt moving a more fragile cargo. It is important for visitors to share what they have observed in their tests. They need to link it to real world problems and they can talk about the science and try to explain how and why certain things have happened. They can use maps and technologies to gather and analyse data and to verify how effective their improved designs were. In a classroom, a real-world extension to any activity could be to consider the economic, environmental and social impacts that result from design solutions. Thanks for joining me in at Spark Lab at the Queensland Museum. We can't wait for you to use your design thinking skills to tackle new challenges in at Spark Lab and in our everyday world.